What up, what up? Wimbush here. And today I'm excited to show you guys how we could do free motion capture using Rococo AI with no motion capture suit at all. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. So as you can see right now, my basic setup is just my M1 iPad Pro, nothing too fancy. I'm recording at 4K 60 FPS. You have an upload limit right now at 300 megabytes. So keep that in mind, but I like using higher resolution and higher frame rates and it seemed to work out fine. So in this example, you can see that I have basic clothing on, I have a tank top, I have some sweatpants, and I do have my hat on in this one. And I'm also gonna do a test without the hat. And then I'm gonna do a test also with just a t-shirt and some khaki shorts. Now Rococo said that whenever you're doing this video capture, you wanna make sure that you have something that is lighter in color. You don't wanna be wearing black because it's not gonna pick that up. And also you wanna make sure that your subject isn't kinda of blending in with your surrounding there. And so you wanna make sure that there's a good contrast between your actor and the environment around them. And also no like camouflage or anything like that because that's just gonna confuse the AI as well. So basic solid colors is what's gonna work. Now in my example here, I'm just doing some basic movements right here just to test it out. Like I said, I have my hat on in this example as well. And once you're done, we're gonna take this footage and actually go to the Rococo website and that's where we're gonna upload everything. So I'll leave a link down below, but basically I'll start you from scratch. All you have to do is go to Rococo.com and you're gonna come upon a website right here. So where you wanna go is down to products and then you wanna come over here to where it says Rococo video and you wanna left click on this and then right here where it says get started for free, you wanna left click on this as well. And then it's gonna bring you to this right here where you're gonna need a Rococo ID. So if you don't have one already, make sure you sign up, but all you're gonna do is put your information in there and then click sign in and you should be good to go. And then once you sign in, this is the next screen that's gonna come up. And so I've been doing a lot of tests this morning right here, but I'll start you guys from scratch just to show you how to set it up. So what I'm gonna do is right over here where it says create new scene, I'm gonna click on this in the top right and then right here where it says scene name, I can actually just name this one Wimbush Rococo, hit create scene. And then this is gonna give you an option if you wanna use something that's already recorded or if you wanna record something with like your webcam right here on the fly. Now I like to record stuff previously just so I could kind of edit it out or if there's any type of changes or anything, I have that flexibility. But if you did have like a webcam set up, you could record it right on the fly. But again, I like pre-recording and then uploading it to the website afterwards. So I'm gonna click on select local file and now it's gonna ask you to drag and drop or select it. And again, remember I said you have a 300 megabyte limit, but again, I did record at 4K 60. So I know it does accept those resolution and that frame rate. So I'm gonna take the clip on my second monitor over here. I'm just gonna left click and drag it right here where it says drag and drop your clip here and let that go. And then it's gonna bring up this right here where you can actually see your footage inside the web browser now. Now, if I scroll down, you can actually see we have our timeline down here and this is where we can start trimming our video. So I'm just going to left click this handle here and drag over to the right until I get to a good spot. Now, when I record stuff, I usually start with a T-pose. I guess this is habit from using the motion capture suit, but I'm going to probably start right there. And then I'm going to go on the right hand side, left click and drag this in to where it's like a good end frame, probably somewhere around right there. And then you can see right down here, this is the only part that's gonna to upload to the website. So on my left-hand side, where it says new recording one, I'm just gonna rename this to Wimbush Rococo, hit enter. And then also inside of this video project file, you can create new, so you can actually save a bunch in here. And then once we go to Rococo Studio, we can have them all under one project file, but I'll show you that here in a bit. But to get going from here, I'm gonna hit turn into animation. And this might take a couple of minutes depending on the resolution, the frame rate, and how long your file is. So I'm just gonna let this cook and then we're gonna jump into Rococo Studio immediately after this. So now everything is finished and this is what the website looks like once everything is ready. And so in the top right hand corner, you notice now it says open Rococo Studio. And so I'm just gonna click on this and now I'm inside of Rococo Studio. Now caveat, I'm using the beta version, but it doesn't matter if you're using the standard or the beta version, everything should look about the same. So down here where it says recently added scenes, you can see that your newly added scene is right here. It says Wimbush Rococo. So I'm gonna left click on this, double click on it. And now we're gonna come up with our standard Rococo scene. So if you look over here on the left hand corner where it says animation clips, I'm gonna click on this one. This is Wimbush Rococo. You can see that it's kind of going into a T-pose. We saw our legs snapping right there. 
And so I believe that it's just trying to do what it can to kind of get everything into place. So if I come down here and I hold on the right click on my mouse button, and then if I hit the Q button, I'm actually going to move down. So the navigation tools are pretty much the same thing as you're used to using an Unreal Engine. So I'm going to hit the W just to kind of scroll in a little bit and then hit E to move up. So somewhere around there, I'm just trying to get the full body in here and then I'm just going to click play and let's see what kind of results that we got. So you can see that would be the wave of motion right there. My head's kind of moving around. My knees are kind of bobbling there. That's where I would have did the flexing move and everything. And as I scroll back here and I'm doing a turn around, you can see that it looks like the feet are kind of hovering above the ground and which you could clean all this up and clean up if you wanted to. So let's keep this playing. You can see that I'm kind of just standing there. And then this is where I lift my legs, which it's having pretty good contact. Like our character isn't flying off the screen or anything like that. So we're getting pretty good contact right there. This is where I crossed my arms at and it looks like it repeat here. So we have a decent motion capture here. It's going to need a lot of cleanup to make it anything usable. Like I noticed the one thing, it seems like my center of mass is kind of off as I'm playing here. My legs are a little bit weird though, and I could kind of clean that up probably inside of iClone, but Let's take a look at some of the other motion capture I did this morning as well. So I did a couple of more tests this morning as well. I also did one with the same getup. I have a tank top, I have on sweatpants, and then this one, I have no hat. And so this is the results that I got with that one there. So if I come back over to Rococo Studio, click on the top one here with no hat. Okay, it looks like everything's in place. So actually I'm gonna reset this all the way back to the beginning and hit play. So it goes from the T pose you can see that my hand is waving like so kind of bobbling around there a little bit lift up my legs like so let me scroll back so we can see the ground plane a little bit there but yeah i mean the motion capture is not bad especially for not having a motion capture suit or anything of that nature let me go back into the one where i was actually doing a dance that we saw in the example so i have this one right here new recording three i'm going to play through this one move this down a little bit so the dancer one i think came out the best probably because i'm moving the entire time like my body movement yeah it's pretty good there i mean the feet should probably be sliding around a little bit there but overall i think that we're getting some good results here and of course you're going to get the best results by wearing a motion capture suit but for free ai motion capture list suits this is pretty good here so now let's look at the motion capture when i'm wearing a plain red t-shirt and some khaki shorts so inside of rococo studio i'm just going to click play let this play through so you can see waving the hand there moving around a little bit moving the other hand there I'm going to do okay do the salute right there and then raising my legs there so then the double jump right there which turned out pretty well and actually doing the arm cross, which is kind of hard to do even with the sensors on. So I'm kind of impressed that it did the arm cross right there. Like I've tried that move with an actual suit on and a lot of times it doesn't like when the sensors cross. So picking that up is pretty cool and that's pretty impressive there. So let's say that you are happy with the motion capture data that you got. The next step from here is in my upper right hand corner. We have a selection tab that says export. And then it's just really basic. You come down to format. Usually I use FBX, but if you left click on it, you have FBX or BVH. Whatever you want to export as, most people do FBX. And then I typically just do the body skeleton, but you can do a body mesh if you're going to bring it into like Unreal, something of that nature. Skeleton, we have four different solutions here. So you could do the basic Rococo skeletal system, human IK. Most people are going to be familiar with this one right here where it says Mixamo. And then of course, Unreal Engine. I'm going to leave it on Mixamo. And then your FBX format, usually binary FBX version. We have 2016, but I'll do the latest and greatest and we'll do 2020. And then frames per second. This is where you're going to match it out at. Typically I do 60, but you know, whatever works from you. And then you would export out your clip from here and you should be able to bring it into your favorite software like Unreal Engine, Cinema 4D, iClone, etc.
for people that don't have any type of money for a motion capture suit or if you want to put together a quick animation maybe for previs or just to get some stuff worked out i think this is a legit solution if anybody wants to see my comparison using Rococo AI versus the Rococo 2 smart suit, make sure you subscribe to the channel because that's the video I'm going to be working on next on this channel. So until next time, stay fresh, keep creating, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'll see you soon. Take care.